Look back at your life over the last 11 months. What have you accomplished? Have you done what you said you were going to do on January 1st last year? Most people don't even make a resolution anymore. Why? Because they've made them from years and years and years, and they know they're not going to follow through. So after a while, who wants to disappoint yourself? Who wants to be upset with yourself? Did you stick to your New Year's resolutions? Did you follow through? Or did you wait? And did you try to look for the next reason that you're going to start after this? Did you do it? Or did you just talk about doing it? Why even bother to set a new standard for this year? You know it's gonna be the same as last year. Well, it's that time of year again, we start to feel real happy. Why? Because we're, we're not going to work. What is it that makes us even want to make a resolution? I mean, it's an interesting question. Why is it at the beginning of a year we have this tradition, but it goes beyond tradition. It's something inside of us that makes us want to make things better. I think part of it is the calendar gives us this idea that we can have a fresh start, that we can start from fresh and have this great victory. Six, five, four, three. Guys, if you always look for a reason to wait, you will always find a reason to wait. Doing anything successful, doing anything important, doing anything rewarding is going to make you inconvenient. It's going to make you feel as if you're doing things that are hard. So we start making promises to ourselves about, hey, I'm gonna lose some weight, I'm gonna do better in school, I'm gonna be better here, be better there. People should make New Year's resolutions if they're actually watching this video on January 1st. If they're watching it on December 23rd, they should make December 23rd resolutions. Here's Rocket Eve, 93. Four, three, happy 1994. When did you define yourself? I mean, really, how many years ago did you come up with what you could and couldn't do in your life? How many years ago? Most people, if they really look at how they're living their life today, it's based on a set of standards, a set of beliefs that they made choices about 10, 20, 30, or more years ago. When all of that noise is gone, it's quiet, and it's you against you, And now all those endorphins are gone. And I promise you made by getting up early and getting after it to go lose weight, study harder, guess what? And this attitude of waiting and looking for a reason and looking for another amount of time or another event to put off your actions, super, super focused, accurate reflection of the attitude that's gotten you to the place that you are right now currently anyway. Harden wrote his mother a note. P.S. Keep this paper. I'm going to be a star. Waiting miraculously to when the calendar flips to start making your life better is silly at best and pisses me off at worst. And so whenever you're watching this, because it lives on the internet, and thus that means you could watch this on June 17th, 2017, make a resolution every day of your life because you only get one at bat. The reason people struggle with having a New Year's resolution and sticking to it is because it was a tactic to do a New Year's resolution. Hence why my first answer was right, which is when you actually decide to make a change in your life, whether about weight or job or going out with somebody or relationships, that's when you actually pull it off. It's religion, not tactics. There's always gonna be a reason to wait. There's always gonna be something that is inconvenient for you to work through. There's always gonna be an event 
there's always going to be a busy schedule. There's always going to be something unexpected that happens. It's always going to be that way. There's always going to be a reason for you to get focused now. And there's always going to be a reason for you to do what it takes now if you want it bad enough. Progress equals happiness. And if we can make progress on a regular basis, we feel alive. And that's why at the beginning of the year, we get this thing like, okay, I can have this fresh start. I can really do what my soul desires. I can expand, I can grow, I can improve, I can change. Or maybe better than change, I could progress. It's easy to fall into the loving the idea of something. When is it gonna be time for you to quit lying to yourself? If you're going to have lasting change in anything, you're really talking about just raising your standards. I mean, I always tell people, if you want to know how to change your life, I give it to you in three words, boring as it sounds, raise your standards. It's hard to fall into the habits of action to actually achieve something. We'll be one of the largest environmental rescue operations yet. And a lot of people who claim to get ready to do something this year that they were gonna change the world, they were gonna do this, they were gonna start a business, they were gonna get in shape, they were gonna do this, 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 who haven't done shit. You're gonna start for one day, and then you're gonna quit. Success is hard, and you either are or you aren't. And unless you're committed 100% to making your goals materialize, the processes of success are always inconvenient in the beginning. They don't stay that way. Progress is an aliveness to it, doesn't it? You don't have to work at changing. People say all the time, now, well, I'm, I'm working on changing. Don't worry about it. You don't have to work on changing. Change is automatic. Your body's gonna change whether you want it or not as the years go by. And no matter how hard you work, there's gonna be some changes going on there. The economy is gonna change no matter what you want it to do. The weather is gonna change. Relationships are gonna change. Everything in life is always changing. We don't have to work on change. Change is automatic, but progress is not. You gotta change, you gotta improve, and you gotta go through a simple process fundamentally to make that progress. First step, vision that's compelling. Second step, make sure that they're strong enough reason to follow through. That lie of, I'm gonna start after New Year's again. So if you want to make real progress, then you really got to look at your life in a different way. You got to say, I got to take control of this process and not just hope it's going to work out like people do who make a resolution. Because really, isn't that what they're really doing at the beginning of the year? They're saying, well, here's my resolutions for the year. And they really basically tell you their wishes. It's their wish list. It's what they hope it all comes together. And then they call it a resolution, but they don't know what a resolution is. When you resolve something, to have a resolution is to resolve it. When you've resolved, this is how it's going to be. That's when you cut off any possibility except the thing you've committed to. If you stick with it, if you give it time, if you work through the inconveniences, they become habit. And when your actions become habit, guess what? They, they are done with passive effort, passive thought. It's just something automatic. And if you can create automatic actions that are positive in your life, you're gonna create automatic winning. Success is about now resolutions. It ain't about New Year's resolutions. You could be the guy who is gonna make New Year's resolution number 47 or 32 or 23 or you could be the guy who's going to make now resolution number one and actually make shit happen Happy New Year! Five, four, 
three, two, one. Happy New Year! One thing I've learned in the last 33 years of working with people from now over 100 countries, 4 million people, is human beings absolutely follow through on who they believe they are. If you say, said to me, well, I'm really gonna work hard to stop smoking. Well, I've been a smoker my whole life and I'm, you know, I am a smoker. I know your days are numbered. You're gonna be back smoking cigarettes again because we all act consistent with who we believe we are. The strongest force in the whole human personality is this need to stay consistent with how we define ourselves.